Let's move on now. We are just a few hours away from the big day in Hollywood. We have Gandera Pratama who will be reporting for We On. Before that, let's take a look at all the news and nominations that has created a wave and a buzz. This year's carpet has a new color, champagne. The new carpet color was unveiled at the annual Oscars carpet rollout in Los Angeles just days before the ceremony. According to AMPAS, the new color aims to create a day-to-night look. Creating a big roar this year at the Oscar nominations is the Indian film RRR, which has been nominated in the Best Original Song category for the musical composition Nato Nato. Well, international Hollywood stars are starting to gather in Los Angeles for the prestigious film award ceremony, the 95th Academy Awards. What is expected to happen at this year's Oscars? VOA's Gandira Pratama who is currently on the red carpet, or rather, the champagne carpet, is joining us now from Los Angeles. Gandira, welcome to the show and hello there. How are the preparations like for this year's Oscars? Hi, Eric. How are you? I hope you're doing well. And, you know, this year's Oscar preparation is very hectic because in the past two days in Los Angeles, it's been raining nonstop. So actually yesterday, they have a lot of buckets lying on the floor to capture rainwater and the Oscar statues, as you can see behind me right there, was covered in a rain jacket to prevent rain from like damaging it. And, you know, uh, this year, as you mentioned, is very different for the red carpet because it's actually champagne color. Now, according to the Academy CEO, Bill, he said that the, the reason for this change of color is because he wants it to be more luxurious. While Jimmy Kimmel mentioned that they wanted no blood to be shed in this year's Oscar, obviously referencing to last year, last year's slap when Chris Rock was slapped by Will Smith. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not the first time that the Academy Award has changed its color from red. In fact, before in 1961, before that, it was actually green. And the uh, carpet itself is actually 152 meters long and about 285 kilograms. So it requires 18 people to actually set up and about 900 hours. Now, the Hollywood stars will make their way through this red, uh, not red carpet, but this champagne colored carpet all the way here, all the way towards the Dolby Theater on my left. And where I'm standing is where all the reporters are. So at that time, mm -hmm. the, you know, the Hollywood stars will have the opportunity to, you know, use and uh, showcase their outfits and fashion designs. Most of them are like designed by world famous fashion designers, and most right. of them are very expensive. Now, apparently the average cost of a, a Hollywood actress dress is about $10 million, while the record is held by Kate Blanchett, which, you know, was nominated for an Oscars this year. Mm -hmm. And she wore a dress back in 2018 for $18 million. Eric? <laughs> Gandrera, I think we have to get used to saying champagne carpet rather than I do, red yeah. carpet. <laughs> I know, I've been, been stuck in my head, yeah, red, <laughs> red champagne, yeah. Yeah, there has been a lot of buzz in Hollywood regarding Bollywood movie RRR and its song Nato Nato. Can you tell us a little more about this? Yes, like you said, Nato Nato is the soundtrack for the Bollywood blockbuster Bollywood movie RRR and the movie itself has raked in over 150 million dollars which is a lot of money obviously and it's directed by director SS Rajamuli oh and before I continue I would like to apologize in advance if I mispronounce any of the names but I'll try my best obviously you're and good you're I think, good <laughs> thank you and it's composed by M.M. Kiravani who's actually the cousin of SS Rajamuli so obviously a very talented family and apparently a lot of you know experts believe that they have a very high chance of winning the oscar for best original music this year because they already won the golden globe mm -hmm. as well as the critics choice award however it has heavy competition this year mainly from rihanna and lady gaga which both songs are in the billboard top 100. now the last time an indian artist actually won best music is back in 2009 when composer a.r rahman wrote a song called jai ho for the uh, movie Slumdog Millionaire, which also won an Oscar, by the way. And it, and this song, Natu Natu, was also a viral transsensation, uh, trans sensation, my bad, in the social media world. And it was, you know, the internet is heavily inspired by this energetic dance right. of the stars of RRR, which is Anti Rama Rao as well as Ram Sharan. And they try to recreate their own, you know, energetic dance, which it's with its funky beat as well as very, you know, rhythmic and very fun on music. Now, it's not only netizens who are very in love with the song, but also Hollywood directors. Apparently, James Cameron, 
Edgar Wright, as well as James Gunn said that they love the song and they can't wait for it to win this year's Oscars. Now, besides that, everyone is also very excited to watch the Oscars this year because just like years prior, there will be performances of the Oscar nominated songs, including Natu Natu. Now, oh. this year's Natu Natu will be performed by singer Rahul Sapligan, as well as Kala Bhairava, who will make their Oscars debut this year. Uh -huh. However, there's still no news whether stars Ram Sharan as well as N.T. Rama Rao will perform in this year's Oscars, even though Ram Sharan said that he's very enthusiastic to perform in this year's Oscars stage. Gandhira, finally, I just want to know, are there any other mm -hmm. Indian films that receive an Oscar nomination? And leading up to the Academy Awards, are there any other Oscars-related events in Los Angeles? Right, so there are actually other movies that are nominated in the Oscars besides RRR. Now, there are two Indian documentaries. The first one is All That Breeze, which is a movie created by filmmaker Shaunak Sen. It was, it, was, uh, it was nominated for Best Documentary this year. However, it has tight competition this year from Fire of Love, which is about two scientists who died in a volcanic explosion, as well as the favorite Navalny, which is about the political assassination of Russian figure Alexei Navalny. Now, that documentary has won a BAFTA as well as a PGA. Now, the other uh, Indian documentary is Elephant Whisper, which is nominated for Best Short Documentary, and it is actually favorite to win, and it's going against Stranger at the Gate, as well as How Do You Measure a Year. Now, interestingly, these two films' documentary emphasizes wildlife conservatory, conservatory, and it's the only two movies in this year's categories that focuses on saving wildlife. Now, all that brief follows brother Nadim Shazad as well as Mohammed Saud as they run a clinic to save the black kite bird. While the elephant whisperer takes us on a journey to a 140-year-old camp called Camp Tepakadu, located at Tamil Nadu. And we got we get to meet Bowman and Bell, Belly, sorry, who raises bell, uh, baby elephants who stray too far from their families. However, there's one Indian film that did not make the cut this year, which is Cello Show and it was actually heavily inspired by the filmmaker Panalin's own life. It is the official Indian entry to Best International Film and it did not make the cut. Now, leading up to the Oscars is actually called Oscar Week. And there are so many events around Los Angeles that you, you know, you could attend to. One of them is actually Oscar Luncheon. And even though I did not get an invitation, it is where the, all the Oscar nominees get to eat lunch and take pictures together for the first time. It happened last month, February. Now, there's also pre-Oscar parties around Los Angeles, including the Time Gala event, which celebrates women in Hollywood. And apparently, Kate Blanchett and Angela Bassett will attend this event, as well as the Vanity Fair, which features rising stars of Hollywood. And apparently, Stephanie Su, as well as Deb, uh, Daniel Deadwild, will attend this event. Now, the Academy of Motion Picture, which opened last year back in 2021, sorry, two years ago, which has a lot of movie props as well as the history of Oscars that you could learn all in the museums, will we'll also screen films there, film screening of Oscar-nominated movies. Right. Uh, these are in the categories of animation, shorts, documentaries, as well as international film. Now, the most interesting part is that you could actually go to the panels and discuss these movies with these filmmakers. So you could talk about the challenges they face when they make the movie, as well as what inspired them to make this movie. Now, the last event that I would like to talk about is the FIDM, or the Fashion Institute Design Museum. And every year, this museum showcases Oscar-nominated costumes. And this year's uh, movies are Elvis, Black Panther, Everything Everywhere All at Once with a variety of diverse costumes from sci-fi, action, to drama. So a very interesting event indeed. <laughs> now, lastly, not even though many stars will join these events, some stars decide, you know, to take some time off, including Ram Sharan who was spotted shopping with his expected wife, who's going to give birth hopefully this year. And they've been shopping around and having fun, relaxing, enjoying before the Oscar celebration tomorrow. All right. I've been talking to VOA's Gandira Pratama. Gandira, have mm. all the fun at the champagne carpet. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.